Hey everybody, welcome back to video number nine in this Unhelpful Thinking Style series. Uh, today I am talking about the thinking style, the unhelpful thinking style of labeling and mislabeling. Huge one that a lot of people seem to do and it seems to be unconscious. So uh, those who label people like, you know, she's a phony, she's a liar, she's a loser, or I'm a loser, or I'm an idiot, or I'm so stupid. These are the labels that I'm talking about. Now, it is, it becomes a problem because it seems to be how we define ourselves and we put ourselves into this category and then that's all we think about ourselves after a while especially if it's a go-to that you always use so for example i had someone who always used to say i'm i'm just i'm just so messy i'm just so messy i'm always messy and it was true that you know bedroom was messy um, car was messy, desk was messy, okay? The thing is, is I noticed after a while that she was using that label because she believed it so much. She thought she had to live up to it. So everything she did, she would rip open a, a, um, her ice cream, you know, ice cream wrapper, and she'd just be like, yeah, I'm just so messy, and it would drip, and she's like, yeah, I'm just messy, what can I do? It kind of boxes you into that type of thinking because that's kind of the that's kind of the order that you've given yourself. You've you've get, you've told yourself that that's what you are and that's all you're going to be. And so your mind and your behavior and your emotions start becoming in tune with that order that you've given yourself. And it boxes people into a certain personality or a per certain role. And people, if they're unconsciously doing it, don't realize that there is any other way. So if you tell, usually what happens when, when people um, do this labeling, they always add a generalization to it as well. So... They say, I'm messy, and then I'm always going to be messy because that's just who I am. And that way, you've added two very unhelpful thinking styles, jam them, mash them up together in your mind, and surefire way to keep yourself stuck and not be able to help yourself out of situations or develop into the person you actually want to be. So... This person would always look at others and say, oh, look, she's just so immaculately dressed. She's just so beautiful. I can never be like that. I'm just such a slob and I'm just so messy. And it just the labeling was unbelievable. And some people do it to themselves unknowingly thinking um, perhaps it was done to them from very young and it was... It was thought of, it was like a no big deal. Like, so what? That's what I, I can call myself whatever I like. I've heard a lot of people say that. It's, you know, it's me. I can call myself whatever I like. And then you ask them, well, do you call other people? Oh, gosh, no, I, I would never. Would you call your children? Oh, good. no, never. Um, would you call your dog and your cat that? No, they're my sweethearts. They're my love. Why then do you think it's worthy that you call yourself such names? And here you get the ultimate silence because that's where self-worth is so low. And it's on realizing that people who call themselves names have such low self-worth where the pain hurts. And we go into, into past incidences, right? trauma patterns, generational cycles, um, and all that good stuff which we do in coaching. On the other side, there are people who never call themselves name, but are happy to call every other driver that's in their way terrible names. Once again, calling people names is once again boxing them into just that one thing, 
like the bad driver, the bad driver who is <laughs> slowing you down is an idiot, right? That person very much likely is not an idiot. That person was able to get a, a uh, you know, get a car, was able to get a driver's license, could ha get himself up and dressed in the morning, is on the way to a meeting, uh, a destination. That person is clearly not an idiot. However, what you're doing is you're just labeling that person with just an ugly name, um, which when you bring it back and we coach down to it, reflects something that's happening inside. There is a frustration inside. There is an anxiety inside. There is a conflict inside, which you don't know what it is inside you. So you just reflect it out onto the world. And it just seems the easiest thing. And I've said this before. Everything starts from inside you. Everything that you do is up to you. And everything always ends with you. And that is self-empowerment. So I hope this little video on labeling and mislabeling people really hits home and that you realize that it is an unhelpful thinking style. Perhaps a better way is just to recognize, just tell the truth of what's happening. This person is going 90 in a 100 kilometer zone. Fact. And that's true. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please uh, like, comment, share. Tell me what um, unhel um, unhelpful thinking style you have noticed in yourself or people around you. Do you label? Do you mislabel? Do you know people who do? I'll see you in my next video.